Good morning. Well, it's not really morning. I mean, it kind of is. What time is it? 10.50. Uh, it is Monday morning. I have been working. Got up at like, I don't even know, 5? No, 6 o'clock this morning. And um, been working. Had some meetings this morning and had to get some stuff done. So now I am taking a break and I am cooking us some lunch. So I'm just literally cooking some of the, let me show you the package. Some of the Just Bear spicy fillets because um, I have some buns that I need to use up. So I'm going to make us some spicy fillet sandwiches with just some like seasoned fries for lunch. That's going to be lunch today. Super simple and easy because I have meetings starting in about 30 minutes and then I have like sporadic meetings through all of the afternoon. So I'm gonna, I have the chicken in the air fryer and I'm about to throw the uh, fries in the oven as soon as it preheats. And then that'll be lunch day. I'm gonna cut up some tomatoes from the garden um, and make us some sandwiches. How does the garden look, honey? Uh, it's freaking hot outside. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't answer my question. Uh, I'll water them. I left it on. Did you water all my other stuff? I didn't know. I just searched what they want to fix okay. it. Because my herbs need water. I'm aware. They're the last to get water. Thank you. Uh, perfect it's hot. It's hot. It's going to be. It's going to be like heat index of 100 and something this okay. week. Jesus Christ. Welcome to Alabama, honey. Yeah, I'm cooking lunch. So, yeah, can't so have, no, you cannot have a cookie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we gotta watch the dogs like limit their time outside for sure in the next few days. All right, I'm gonna get to cutting up the stuff for the sandwiches and then we're gonna have lunch and I'll check in with you guys later. So here's lunch. So here's lunch, here's mine. Just a chicken sandwich with tomatoes, pickles, tomatoes from the garden. A little bit of fries, and then there is Gotham's. Uh, so it looks pretty yummy. So I'm going to eat this, and then I have a meeting in like 15 minutes. So check in with y'all later. Good morning, you guys. So uh, it is Wednesday today. I'm going to cook some breakfast, but I wanted to update you guys because I told you in the last vlog that we we're bringing back the podcast so we are officially bringing it back but it's rebranded so it's going to be called pretty for a big girl um and i will link it down below so you guys can like follow the instagram so you know when new episodes are coming out and all of that kind of stuff um we are going to record our first return episode this week um so i'm really excited about it um my house is still a disaster because i got my new coffee maker and all that so all of that is going to ashley because she wants that uh keurig um, but yeah, I am, it's at 7.30 in the morning right now. I've already fed the dogs and had coffee. Hi, Knox. Um, and then I'm going to cook some breakfast because I have to jump on, um, some meetings this morning and get some work done. So, uh, I just wanted to jump on here and tell you guys that, but I'm going to cook me some avocado toast. And, do that basic. and I think my brother's coming down because the dogs are going crazy, so... Good morning, Nicholas. Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> All right, so I put my sourdough piece of bread in my air fryer. I do it on just, it has a toast feature as well. Um, and then I just fry one egg, take the toast, and I use these little avocado mash. Um, this one is the with sea salt and black pepper. This is my favorite one. So I use like half of one of these per morning, like piece of bread, because I feel like avocados just go bad before I can use them. So I use this, and then I do a little bit of Texas Pete and some everything but the bagel, and that is breakfast. So I'm gonna whip this up, and then I'll show you guys when it's done. And like I said, I'm making chicken on the Blackstone later. So I marinated some chicken i marinated two different kinds i did like a parmesan garlic chicken and like a spicy chili crunch hot honey chicken um, and those have been marinating overnight in the fridge so i'm going to pull those out later on and cook those on the black so i'll show you that when i do uh when i cook that but i'm going to go ahead and put 
once I eat breakfast, I'm going to go ahead and put the baked potatoes in the crock pot because that's lately how I have been cooking my baked potatoes and it's just super easy. So by the time that we get time, when we it's time for us to eat, they're ready. I've also been um, cooking a lot of corn on the cob lately, but I have some squash and zucchini that I really need to cook. So I think I may make um, that for dinner with some uh, mushrooms and some squash and zucchini and cook that on the blackstone as well. Um, so yeah, that is what's going on right now. So I'm really, really excited about the new podcast, you guys. Like, we're going to have so many good topics to talk about. Me and Jennifer have already been like, we're going to do five topics per episode, I think. Um, and then obviously life updates and just what's going on with us as well. But like, we've already started like a list for the first episode and our return episode. And like, we have so much stuff to catch you guys up on. So really excited about that. I'm excited about all the branding. So I made all the branding and like the website and the, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I just think that it's it's just gonna be really really fun. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys listen um, Like I said, I will link it down below the Instagram because we don't necessarily have a new episode yet But we are filming one this I mean recording one this week. It will actually be Eventually a filmed and recorded episode. So you'll get to see it on YouTube and on on the pretty for a big girl YouTube Page and for anybody where you listen to just podcasts. So we both Eventually, but we were like trying to get the room all set up and everything um, so right now it's just going to be recording, but super excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. So plus it's in the mean Jennifer get to do together, which is always fun. All right. My toast is done. So I have my toast. I'm just gonna take half of this and spread this on. I had, like I tried the chunky little avocado spread thing that's like the same kind of deal, but it didn't have any seasoning on it and it just, I just didn't like it as well. Don't overcook my egg. Still like a really runny yolk which my husband thinks is disgusting he only eats scrambled eggs perfect That's breakfast. Um, I still have like so many like paper and plastic stuff from the wedding. So I'm trying to use all that stuff up. Um, so this is breakfast and I am gonna go jump on some meetings while I eat this. Check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, so I put the baked potatoes in the crock pot. All I did was put a little bit of olive oil on them and then some of the blend kinder seasoning, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. Roll them up in aluminum foil, put it on high for five hours because they were pretty big potatoes. So I have literally all of this squash and zucchini that needs to be cooked. So what I'm gonna do is just wash it and then I'm gonna slice it all up and put a little bit of salt on it and let it sit for about 20 minutes and get some of that liquid out of it. And then once that is, I'll pat it dry and then put it in a baking dish with some seasonings and some cheese. And then I'm gonna bake that as the side for our lunch today or dinner today, whatever time we eat it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slice all this up and then put some salt on it and let it sit for a few minutes because if not you just get really watery like vegetables so i mean just call me ratatouille i mean come on so all right uh that's what i'm gonna do My husband is not a big vegetable fan, so I try to come up with new ways to get him to at least try some vegetables. And I'm hoping that he'll like this one if I add some cheese and stuff to it.
Because this is going to be way too much for just us. She's my go-to garden expert. Can I freeze squash? Uh, no. Okay. It says, like, I, I tried it. Um, it says you can. And so I did. I glanced it like it was supposed to be. Put it in the freezer bag. You know, suck, you know, got all the air out. Mm -hmm. And when I took them out of the freezer, they didn't look freezer burnt, but they tasted horrible. Oh, yeah? So... Um, when they're, after they've been cut and picked over time, they release this, uh, a chemical of some sort and it turns them unbearably bitter. Ah. Oh. So, and then somebody else I was talking about the other day said that they had tried several different ways and couldn't get it to work. Yeah, I have, like, we have so much squash right now and I'm like... I'm gonna make like a squash bake today, like with cheese and everything. Like I saw that you can like salt them first and then salt the squash and the zucchini and let it get some of the water out and then pat them dry and like bake them so it won't be like a watery mess, you know? Yeah, and I've made it before with, um, you like take Parmesan cheese. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna do like, like ratatouille style, you know? Like stack it and then. Oh yeah, yeah. Salt it, pepper. I've also made it where you just take them and lay the circles out flat and put Parmesan cheese on top of it and bake it and it makes them, and they're like delicious. Last night I made squash casserole and it was amazing. You'll have to send me the recipe because I definitely want to make a squash casserole. I'm trying to get ways to get Gotham to um, eat vegetables. <laughs> well, this was really good and it was um, super simple. Just squash, which you do have to saute it to get the liquid out and then squeeze it out in like a tea towel. Yeah. Um, and then it was sour cream, cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese, um, an onion, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and then you top it with Ritz crackers. Oh yeah, that sounds cheese. good. And it was very delicious. Oh, and an egg, a beaten egg goes in the sour cream mixture. We, um... camera battery died but I hope you guys can see I've only let this sit for like five minutes while I went out and like trimmed my herbs and stuff in the garden and look at all the water that's already coming out so this is gonna be great I'm gonna let it sit for a little while longer and then stack it into a baking dish and get it ready for cooking later but yeah I'm pretty excited about this and Ashley confirmed that you should not try to freeze your squash. If you guys have any hacks for freezing squash, then let me know, because apparently she tried it last year multiple different ways and never turned out good. So, um, yeah, if y'all have any squash freezing hacks, then let me know. I am gonna go try to go sometime today and get some fertilizer for my garden because my, my tomatoes are doing great. I'll show you guys the garden. You wanna see the garden? So here is our garden. So uh, this was romaine in this bed, but it just didn't do well with it being so hot. Romaine is like more of a cool weather vegetable. Let me get my little string out of the way. It's more of a cool weather vegetable and it just didn't, it started, um, what did they call it? Bolting, so it got really tall. I don't know anything about gardening, by the way. I'm just learning off of, on the internet. Um, this is all hot peppers and bell peppers. So those are the, my bell peppers over there. Gotham planted all of these hot peppers and I literally, he did not mark them. And I don't know what they are. So they're producing really well. Like I have a big pepper here and this one has a lot of peppers on it. This one's about to pepper because it's got the flowers on it. That one has some peppers on it. Um, so these are doing really well. I just don't know what they are. So I don't know when to pick them. So if you can identify any of these peppers, let your girl know in the comments. 
My tomatoes are doing fantastic. We've already eaten quite a few tomatoes. They've been delicious. So as you can see, we have quite a few that are on this plant. And then we have tons of tomato plants because those are the ones that I bought the plants. Then I have a whole bunch over here that I'll show you in a minute that are I grew from seed. So then we have a blackberry plant and a strawberry plant that are just doing okay. Um, and then this is my squash and zucchini and cucumbers and they just like my squash keeps like getting like you can see this little baby one it gets like that big and then it falls off so i don't know what is going on with that but i'm gonna get some fertilizer today because ashley said that maybe that will help um and i do have a little squash or zucchini plant tucked back there under the tomatoes as well and then over here we have more tomatoes so we have tomato plant here i bought this at target it was just like the tomato grower set so it came with the seeds and everything and actually just started having some little baby tomatoes more tomatoes back there this is more peppers so we can have a, you see there's like a carolina reaper in there um and just some other hot peppers that those two are doing really well this one let me get out of this so those two are doing pretty well that one uh has not grown i don't think at all but you know we'll see how it goes we have my butterhead lettuce, which is doing fantastic. We have another little pepper plant in here. I think this is a bell pepper. Yeah, Cali Wonderful pepper in there. Uh, and then this tomato plant. So these I grew from seed. And they did get put in a lot later on than like those over there. But they got put in the same day as these. And look, they were the same size. They were looked like this. Look at these. Flourishing. What's happening? I don't know. I don't understand it, I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. So we have all kinds of tomatoes in here. Like I said, this one's doing really well and this one's just struggling. So that is the garden. I got these whiskey barrels from Lowe's. Yeah, and I got this raised bed from Costco or Sam's, Costco I think. Um, and then we just put in all of this rock because our grass was not doing well um, and so the dogs would like run and get muddy anytime it would rain so we put in rock on both sides so from the gate all the way down on this side and then on the other side as well and you can see there's like a spot here where the grass is just not growing um, honestly I want to get rid of all of this grass and just do turf but we'll see how it goes and Gotham needs to cut the grass but this is our like back porch area so we did these um, so I had these originally for the string lights that were smaller and in smaller buckets and they were like really unsteady and they were falling over and stuff. So I we had them, I had the boys redo them and do them with these big whiskey barrels and these bigger, and I'll get closer so you guys can see, and the bigger posts. Um, and then I planted, so I did about like this much to there with quickcrete and then this is soil. So then I planted in each one of them. That one's doing fantastic. These two are just okay. So, and then I think what, I were not, what we were talking about this morning with the pool situation, um, instead of putting the pool on the grass and kill, potentially killing the grass, I'm gonna move this, maybe move it down, depending on how big the pool is that's coming, um, and put the pool here, because we need to get rid of all this stuff too. We got new cushions for the egg chairs, so those cushions need to go. Um, but yeah, this is the back porch situation right now. And then this over here are my herbs. My little herb garden. Um, it's not doing bad by any means, but it just like, there's some parts of it that look like sunburnt. And I have moved it now where it's not getting full sun. It was getting full sun all day. This will only get sun for about another, I don't know, hour, two hours or so, and then it'll be in the shade. Um, so I think it's been thriving more since I moved it over here, but I just am keeping a watch on it. So that is the herb garden. So that is outside. And yeah, I'm gonna go check on this squash and zucchini, dry it off, and then put it in a pan. We are under like a heat advisory here in Alabama. Come on. Um, for like the next week or so. So I'm trying to make sure that I really limit the dogs outside time. They love being outside, but I just cannot let them get overheated. So especially Glock with him being from Canada, he's not used to these heats, to this heat. And um, so I've been really watching him, but he doesn't like outside as much as like Swayze and Knox do. Um, but I've just been letting them go out and hang out outside and then making sure they come in, drink a lot of water. So 
I am going to let this squash and zucchini sit for a little bit longer and then while I jump on back on my computer um, and handle some more meetings and then I will check in with you guys later. So I am at Walmart right now. Ashley had told me about this like um, fertilizer to get for my garden that you attached to your hose. So I'm going to come in here and see if they have it. That's where she said she got it from. Um, and then pick up a few things while I'm in here. I'm on my lunch break right now. Um, so I told you guys in the last vlog that we were like starting the process to start a family and I went off birth control, which I have been on since I was like 16 years old. So my body is like going crazy and like my skin is like so broke out. And I, I know it's from hormones, but I just cannot deal. So like I've been trying not to wear a lot of makeup and like let my skin breathe while I adjust. Um, and I did do a modern fertility um, test kit. So um, we can go into that if you guys want to know more about that and like the whole process. Um, because I have PCOS and I'm also 34. So um, we are, we don't know that it's going to be like a struggle to have a family, but we're just trying to get like all the data so we know what we're dealing with. Um, it might not be a problem. I might be able to get pregnant pretty easily, but we just wanted to know everything that was going on. So it is getting hot. So I'm going to go run in and try to find that. And then, um, yeah, that's what I'm at. So I haven't even made it out back to the fertilizer yet, but they have this like 50 can cooler tote for like 10 bucks. And I joined our local CSA and they put your stuff out um, and they ask you to put like a cooler out, but I don't really have like the cool, I have a big cooler, but it's in our storage unit. So I'm gonna grab this cause it's, and it would be good for taking kayaking as well. So, and it has a little pocket. So 10 bucks, I'm here for it. They have some cute chairs too. That one has avocados on it. I don't need any more chairs, but those are cute. Yeah, another thing I need to look for while I'm here is to look for my niece a swimsuit. She needs a swimsuit. I've seen these all over TikTok. Should I get one? up here in the top and then you drink down here here it is this is what she told me to get so and they have the refills so this attaches to your water hose and makes it where you're not giving too much plant food liquid food. Let's go ahead and get a thing of refills. Done and done. Now let's go shop. Pool is coming in, so I'm gonna get one of these. So I also need like baking Pyrex things that have the lids on them. I don't know where all of mine have gone to, but they've disappeared. But honestly, the prices don't seem that great here. Um, I was looking over in like the baking section, but they are just not impressed with their prices. So I may go to like Home Goods or something and get those. But I also wanted some flexible cutting mats. What is the difference? These are just so much easier to clean than like my wooden ones. I got some storage boxes because I told you guys I've been adding stuff to my Poshmark. So I need like a storage box to like put all of the stuff in as I add it so I can know where to dig through to find it when you guys buy things. If you've not already, I will link my Poshmark down below so you guys can follow and see when I add new stuff. If you guys didn't know, I get my niece every weekend. So um, she needs a swimsuit at my house. And let's see. That one's cute. Cute. I don't know if she 
doesn't like that one. I think she might want a two-piece. hearts and a unicorn. She's a little old for a unicorn. She's not that into it anymore. That one's cute. Do they have that in her size? Alright, I'm going to call my mom and see if this one will fit her because it's really cute and I don't know if she can wear an 18 or if she needs a 14, 16. So these are literally $10. So I went ahead and got her uh, two in a size 18 and then one in a 14, 16, just to see which fits her better. But this is a one piece of little mermaids on it, a little two piece that has um, a little ruffle, she'll like that. And then this little bikini here too. So she needs them desperately. She has no swimsuits in my house and we like to play in the sprinklers with the dogs. So she'll really like them. All right, so gotta go get some groceries now. I have to stop and get the dogs a little treat. They love these and they can't like break pieces off of them. One for each. And it keeps them busy for quite a while, which is nice. They need some cold brew coffee. They don't look like they have the concentrate, which is the Starbucks concentrate is the one we really like, but I'll get some medium roast. Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna get some cinnamon rolls. brother also specifically asked for some more hot pockets because he likes to take those to lunch he's a diesel mechanic so anything that's easy that he can throw in the microwave is the best for lunch for him unless I send him with like a plate or leftovers like I sent him with a plate this morning um, but he goes through hot pockets pretty regularly so I'm gonna try to find some there we go he likes the pizza ones So we're going to be out of town next weekend or next week for work. So I'm going to get the guys some more dogs because they both will eat these and Gotham cannot cook to save his life. So I'm going to get him those. All right, I think I got everything and more. There's stuff I didn't even have in mind I was getting, but I got it. So, call them to be like, I thought you went to get fertilizer. Yeah, well, I got a few other things too. So, I'm gonna check out and head back home. Um, but yeah, so successful trip to Walmart, a little too successful. Uh, yeah, did not intend to spend that much money, but. It happens, right? That's why I shop online because I get so influenced when I go in the store that I just need something that I don't really need. But anyway, heading home. It is so freaking hot. It's 93 degrees and it is noon. Not even noon. It's 11:30. So it is hot in Alabama. But headed home. Get back to work. So why I decided that it was a good idea to cook on the Blackstone when it's like literally almost 100 degrees outside, I will never know. But I did go ahead and sear off the chicken on the Blackstone and then I brought it in to finish it out in the oven so it doesn't get burnt, but it looks really good. And also the squash bake is in there. I did make some mushrooms on the Blackstone as well. And now I'm gonna pull out the baked potatoes and get that ready um, and call Gotham down. 
to eat. Now that I work from home, now that I work from home, we have been having like larger lunches and then just eating a little something at night, which has been great. Yeah, that looks healthy as fuck. <laughs> what the fuck are those? This is the squash. Oh, yeah. Okay, so do you want, this is like Parmesan. Which one you want? <laughs> this is Parmesan uh, garlic chicken, and this is like chili crunch chicken. The Parmesan garlic. Really? I thought you would want that one. It's kind of spicy. Yeah, but. Uh, Google, stop. I think. And no squash. You're gonna try the squash. Yes, I can. I can make you. I will make you. I can. Grease. Juice. That's juice. That's flavor. None for me. Just kidding. It's about to say too late. Can you give me that sour cream? Struggle is real, huh? Stop! You like sour cream. Yeah, but I don't like it in a, a convenient. Do you weird. like it on your food? Yeah. Looks weird in a container. This is squash from our garden? Yeah. I just saw the bugs on them. <laughs> I saw bugs on them. What was that? Salt and pepper. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, here's lunch, chicken. Oh, I just touched it. Squash from the garden, mushrooms, baked potatoes. That's Gotham's, he's getting one of both. And he's gonna eat all of that squash. Aren't you? No, I'm not. <laughs> all right, we're gonna eat this and watch Obi-Wan. Good morning, you guys. Today is Thursday, and I'm saying good morning, but it's almost noon. Um, I have been working all morning, I had meetings and stuff, um, and now I am cooking us some lunch, so I thought I would grab you guys and let you cook with me. So y'all know I made that chicken yesterday um, and we had a ton of it left over. So I am making some fried rice. And what I did was got my wok out and put onions and garlic in the bottom with some butter. And then this morning I grabbed out these two bags of rice. Uh, the last time I cooked rice, I had a ton left over. So I just threw it in the freezer for fried rice. So I'm grabbing that out now. I'm gonna put that in here with the, I went in ahead and added like, I had a half a thing of like vegetables, uh, which was like corn, green beans, 
lima beans, cor uh, carrots, peas, all that kind of stuff. So I went ahead and added that in for some vegetables. And I'm gonna go ahead and toast all this up in the wok. And then I need to grab some eggs out as well. Let that break apart a little bit. Um, and I'm sure this is a shocker to no one, but Gotham did not like this wash. I liked it. I thought it was good. My brother liked it. Gotham was not a fan. So just adding some sesame oil in here and then some soy sauce, and then I will add all the chicken that I cubed up. And I just did both kinds of chicken. Um, I did the crunchy chili chicken and the garlic chicken. I'll put that in here once this cooks along a little bit more. making a mess, but it's okay because my dog's right there and he's cleaning it all up. I got this walk off of Amazon and I will link it below for you guys, but I really like it because if I'm making like a big amount of food, it's like perfect for that. All right, so what I did was make a little well. So I'm gonna bring you guys closer so you can see. Make a little well in the rice. It's right there. And I'm gonna crack my eggs right in there and scramble them up. See how that does. I may need more eggs. Let that cook. Scream all it up. Then once this cooks down a little more, I will add all the chicken in and let it reheat in the pan with everything else, all the goodies that are already in here. Got our eggs in. Those cook up. Let's add our chicken in. We just cubed up all the chicken that was left over from yesterday. Dump that in. Get that all incorporated in and heated thoroughly. y'all but we're not like huge leftover eaters like my brother will eat leftovers like I sent him a plate of this chicken and stuff to work today but like we're not big leftover eaters so I tried to take whatever we have left over and just make it into something different 
All right. So that is pretty much done. And I used up rice and chicken and vegetables that were in the freezer that needed to be used up. So I'm gonna plate this up and call down Gotham and we're gonna have lunch. Here's lunch. Can you tell which one's mine and which one's Gotham's? You know, sleeve life. So um, I'm gonna put some like light soy sauce on the side in case he wants to add some and sriracha because he likes stuff really spicy. Um, but yeah, that is lunch, all done. All right, good morning you guys. It is Friday morning, it's Friday. Um, I'm cooking some breakfast right now. Um, and then I have some work to do, I've got to work today. And then I am, so I rearranged like the back patio area. So I swear he waits till I'm recording to drink water. Uh, he's gonna pressure wash the porch and get that all clean. Um, this weekend I am going to have my parents over on Sunday for Father's Day. I'm gonna make some breakfast pizza. You guys have seen me make breakfast pizza before. Um, that's going on. And then other than that, we don't have a lot planned this weekend. We're literally just gonna hang out in the backyard by the pool most of the weekend probably. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. And I, the, the first episode of the Pretty for a Big Girl podcast just went live this morning. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so yeah, I'm just cooking me some breakfast and then I'm going to hop on some meetings. Um, and then later on, I'll show you guys the back patio once Gotham gets up and pressure washes it and gets it all fixed up and clean. Then I'll show you guys that. Okay, so here is the new rearranged situation. So I moved the chairs from here. So the table was there, switched those out with the chairs, the lounge chairs. So, and then moved the black stone to there, was over there. And then Gotham blew up our pool so we can hang out in our pool tomorrow. And we filled it up. And now we're about to do some more as soon as Gotham sets everything up. So we got the kid, and we're gonna do some s'mores. Are you pumped? S'mores. I got this s'mores kit from Costco. So it's it came with the marshmallows and the graham crackers and the chocolate. And then I had these little kebab things that we're using. So, Are you pumped for our pool tomorrow? Absolutely. Absolutely. I got us a skimmer too so that we can get anything that gets in it overnight out of it in the morning. Wait, yeah, it's a pretty good size pool, isn't it? So we should have got some floats. We could have just floated right next to each other in there. <laughs> Do you like the chairs being right here better? Yeah. And the table over here? Yeah. Wait, you know what would be cool, Mary? What? If you, we took that sprinkler and put it like around the what we're gonna so that way it would be like a sprinkler going in. what we're gonna do is tomorrow when we get out here i'm gonna take my mister and i'm gonna attach it to this pole right here a mist the mister that like sprays water oh yeah, yeah. so we're gonna put it over here mm -hmm. and then it'll spray over us in the chairs and in the pool that'll be it'll nice be like, like it, it, it'll feel like it's right yeah it'll be nice because it's gonna be hot tomorrow First s'more of the summer. Mmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You can do it. Mm, there we go. Maybe you can't. Alright, I'm coming. Yep, put your chocolate down. Yep, and then take your, yep, and put it to the end. There you go. Just like that. Perfect. Is it good? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> All right, should we make Gotham one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna eat our s'mores. See you guys later. Ah. Ah. So she's making Gotham one, but we're putting Rolos on his because that's what he requested. He also requested 
the cookies and cream drops on there, but we'll do the Rolos first and then see. She was trying to make them this one, but she got it really burnt, so I'm gonna eat that one. She's gonna make Gotham one. It's not as burnt. Good morning, everyone. So it is 7.30 on Saturday morning. I slept till seven, which is late for me. The kid actually woke up before I did, which never happens, does it? No. Never. You never wake up before me. No, I'm normally, I'm normally one of the latest sleepers. Yeah. Um, so, of course, she's starving. So I'm gonna do the TikTok hack where you take the cinnamon rolls and you pour heavy cream and then you bake them as directed and they're supposed to be delicious which tastes like homemade so we're going to try that and then I've got a ton of dishes to do I made um so I just haven't mastered my instapot yet I feel like I made like a chicken pasta last night it was just okay right yeah it wasn't great no the mushrooms weren't good well you don't like mushrooms but I mean the I actual, like my pizza. but you, but the actual pasta just wasn't great. Like it the wasn't sauce great. wasn't great. Yeah, the sauce wasn't great. So I, I make al Alfredo that's really good, don't I? I make yes, good Alfredo. Yes, you make amazing Alfredo. <laughs> but she, I didn't like, I didn't love it. Gotham didn't love it. She didn't love it. So I just haven't mastered the Instapot yet. Um, I made it like the Olive Garden chicken, Olive Garden dressing chicken or whatever pasta, and it was just okay. But. These cinnamon rolls are supposed to be fantastic, so we're gonna give it a go. They better be. All your stuff is good. So. That was a good save. That was a good save. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try this and we'll see how it goes. Better be good. They're supposed to be good. All your stuff is supposed to be good. They're supposed to be delicious. Really? Yeah, really. All right, let's preheat the oven to 350. Can you turn that down a little bit? Huh? Can you turn that down a little bit? I'm not going to watch it anymore. Because, boy. We haven't even used this popcorn in a minute. I know. We haven't had a movie night in a while. You know what well, I mean? You know what you need? You know what we need to get? What? When Gotham wakes up, you need, you know, we need to tell them we need? We need a projector for the backyard. And then we can have a movie night back there. With Bentley and Ava? Yeah. Yeah. That would be really fun. And you know what would be even funner? What? If we had a movie night and Bentley and Ava came to watch the movie, we could watch it in Conto. And um, Bentley and Ava could spend the night. Yeah, we're going to do a spend the night party with Bentley and Ava very soon. Okay. Because I've been wanting to do one. Well, they're movie. just busy all the time, honey. Like, I've asked. Yeah, I know. Like, well, right now, I think they leave today to go to the beach for a few days. Today or tomorrow. They do. Bentley said... Hey, y'all be nice. Y'all are wild today. Do you have any chicken? Yeah, I, mean, I told you I'd make you some. Knox! Stop it! Stop it! Hey, y'all be nice! Be nice! Yeah. It's the weekend! Be nice to each other! So, here's what you're supposed to do according to TikTok University. If I can get these out, jeez. All right. So, cook. I preheated the oven to 350, which is what the package says. So you put your cinnamon rolls in the bottom of the pan. I did put some non-stick spray. Then you just pour, and nobody really says how much to pour, so I'm gonna eyeball what I just feel in my soul. You just said all my stuff is good. Yeah, but when you just use your mind, then that's not going to turn out well. I tried it once and it was disgusting. Okay, so I'm going to do that much because that covers the bottom and all of the cinnamon rolls. So we got some in there. And then this was not part of the recipe, but I'm going to add some cinnamon on top. 
just a little and so it bakes on top of the cinnamon rolls. Come on. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> she does she doesn't trust me, guys. All right, so then we're gonna bake them for 27 minutes and then we'll spread them with the icing. So, I will come back when these are all done. All right, we're back and these are done. I did go ahead and change into my swimsuit. And this, you can get yours on. Yes. Um, but look how delicious these look. No, that on the ground. And I did go ahead and heat up the frosting that comes with it for like 10 seconds in the microwave, but we're just gonna drizzle that over the top. Dogs, this is not for you. We'll get the rest of that out in just a second with a spoon. or knife. Somebody else's dogs sit right under their feet while they're in the kitchen and like one day they're going to be the complete death of me. Can't leave any of that delicious frosting. Alexa, drop into the playroom. Okay, dropping you. Who are you dropping to the playroom? Oh, you. <laughs> Alexa, stop. All right, I'm gonna let these cool and then we'll come back for a taste test with the thing. She insisted on chicken with her cinnamon rolls mm -hmm. and all her crap is piled up here. But let's take a taste test. Get your cinnamon roll. I can't believe you could actually pick it up. All that heavy cream in there. <laughs> Ready? That's pretty good. It's like not as dry as the normal cinnamon yeah. rolls are, right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> this is good. I would recommend this. This is an actual TikTok hack that I would actually recommend. Even though it's steaming hot. It is hot, but it's delicious. Nick, try yours. Dad! What? Don't blow on it like that. You're what? getting it on mine. Meh. <laughs> oh, I can't put that in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me choke it, again it, like it, I did at the restaurant. It's chasing my fault. Today, today would be great, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? Oh. <laughs> Pretty good. I think Cindy would be jealous. <laughs> Cindy cinnamon roll? That's her. I used to love that lady. <laughs> Alright. Thumbs up from us, right? Okay. You ready to get in the pool? Mm-hmm. <laughs> More chicken. No more chicken. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're all set up. Kids in the pool. We got the mister going for my chair. And then hopefully by this time next year, we'll have an in-ground pool. But everything's all booked up for this year. So this is our solution, but it works. And we got the speaker, turn the speaker on, and we're gonna hang out. Okay, you guys, it's been a fun week vlogging with you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here and start a new one. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.